Well, UMass football season is rapidly approaching, but it has already been a long offseason for the Minutemen. Guys getting it done, not only in the classroom and on the field, but also in the weight room. And we stopped in with redshirt senior Kyle Horn to talk about some of the cultural changes for the Minutemen program. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement around the program. Coach Shadid has really kind of taken hold, but it's not just about getting big. It's about building culture. Mm -hmm. What's it been like working with him on a daily basis over the course of the oh, summer? Oh, it's been awesome. He's everything outside of football, too. He's always there at the uh, dining halls getting us ready. And for me, I've, I've gained 15 pounds in the past three months. So I went from 240 to 255. Yeah. He's helping me take the next step. How would you describe yourself, your, your game, as a, as a tight end? I mean, obviously, there's different types of tight mm -hmm. ends, blocking tight ends, catching tight ends. That might just be too pigeonholing. But how would you describe you know, who, who you are? Oh, ever s I came in as a fullback, so I've always yeah. had the uh, physical mentality. And back when Adam Brenneman was here, I was the blocking tight end. So I'd go in when we needed to block and stuff. So I've always had that aspect. And this year, I've, I've really worked on my catching yeah. to be more dynamic. And my, my biggest strength is definitely my blocking. How do you work on your catching skills? Yeah, just, oh, all summer, we hit in the jugs, and we were out with the quarterbacks all all year and um, with the new offense I'm more in the, the split now so I'll practice I'm, I'm practically a wide receiver so yeah it helps a lot reps right mm -hmm. now let me transition here your dad played here what did you know about UMass before you came to UMass oh uh, before I came I used to, when I was little he'd come up for alumni games and all that stuff and I'd come with him and I was just ever since I was little I always I always I didn't know I was gonna play at UMass but I always knew I wanted to play college football yeah. and when the time came you said Hey, why don't I carry on his tradition? Mm -hmm. And my older brother played here. Okay. Well, he played on. He did the Catholic. So when your dad tells you about playing football here, what are the stories? Are they how how good was he when he tells you those stories? About uh, I here? so I hear him from all of his roommates. Yeah. Uh, he he'll never tell a story to me. Oh. I'll, yeah. He, I'll hear from all of his buddies, and they're it's it's awesome to hear him. Yeah. Why don't you tell me a little bit about some of the goals you might have kind of off the field and, mm -hmm. and on the field this year? So I've always sent out like numbers for myself, and last year I, I missed a few games because of an injury. Yeah. So I didn't really get to the numbers I wanted to for receiving yards, and that's one of my main goals this year is get, I don't want to set a limit, but I want to set high goals for my receiving yards. And you got ballpark um, Roughly, I want to shoot over 500 okay, to 600, which would be unbelievable. And what about off the field? Off the field, I, right now I'm just focusing on getting my minor, which and I'll get that this fall in economics. And because you've already received your degree. Yeah, I received my degree this past spring. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Good luck this year. Thank you.